Hello, and welcome to Controversial Coasters with Contriver, a series where I discuss extremely unpopular opinions that I have regarding roller coasters or amusement parks and attempt to justify them even though 90% of the community will disagree with them. In this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the infamous Vacoma suspended looping coaster model, and how I feel about them. When you generally mention a Vacoma SLC, it is usually coupled with agonizing pain and torture in regards to the ride experience, and that is basically the only way that these roller coasters seem to be portrayed. However, I have come to develop a solid passion for riding these SLCs, as I have found that they are actually pretty fantastic roller coasters. So first of all, there's basically no arguing against the fact that these coasters are very rough or rattly or shaky or however you want to describe it. The restraints on some of the older models are also quite bulky and not the most forgiving when it comes to the rougher ride experience. And for these two reasons only, the majority of roller coaster enthusiasts will automatically think very low of these attractions. Now I've been on quite a few rough and painful coasters and some are definitely worse than others and at the end of the day I would easily prefer a smoother experience versus a rough one in most scenarios. Except when it comes to Ghost Rider. It's just too smooth for a wooden coaster, <laughs> sorry. Hashtag upscaled family ride, hashtag ghost rated. Yeah, we're doing this again. Anyways, I feel that a rough coaster isn't at a total loss as long as it has some redeeming factors. By this, I mean, does the ride actually provide some great elements with sweet forces or feelings? If so, then even if it is extremely rough, I still consider it a great ride. Now, if it's a very boring coaster that exerts practically zero forces and does absolutely nothing interesting while also managing to be rough and uncomfortable, then yes, I will consider it to be a bad ride. Now you know why I don't like Wildcat at Hershey Park. Anyways, aside from being very rough, Vacoma SLCs actually managed to deliver some pretty enjoyable experiences. The first drop leading into the rollover is rather intense and pulls some nice positives. The rollover itself gives a really cool floaty but snappy sensation. The overbank turn leading into the sidewinder makes for a great rushing speed sensation, and the double inline twist is one of the most absurdly aggressive and fun moments on these coasters. Each element is actually really fun and enjoyable, and although these coasters are undoubtedly rough, I don't actually consider them them to be painful or uncomfortable. I guess that's partly because I'm 6'4 and my head generally avoids making contact with the shoulder restraints, but to me, if you can enjoy an aero looper, then you can enjoy an SLC. I feel like with these rides, you really have to be able to look past the cons and ignore the bad things that it does. I know that some people would prefer not to, simply because the cons of these rides have a much bigger effect on them than the pros, and that's perfectly acceptable, since everyone is entitled to their own opinions. But in my case, my opinion generally goes against almost everyone else's when it comes to Vacoma SLCs, so I seriously felt the need to justify them with this video. So anyways, thank you for watching this video. Even though I'm pretty much expecting 90% of you to disagree with me and say that Vacoma SLCs suck, I'm still gonna go out and ask you to leave a comment about your thoughts on Vacoma SLCs. But anyways, if you did end up enjoying the video, then please remember to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you'll be alerted whenever I upload a new video. But until then, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.